Direct immunofluorescence involves detecting autoantibodies bound to the patient's tissue. Thus, a biopsy sample is taken from the affected individual. A closer look of the specimen clearly shows the autoantibody bound to a target antigen. The second step involves inoculating human immunoglobulins in goat. Two doses are given with six weeks interval between doses. The production time of goat anti-human immunoglobulin is three weeks after the last dose. Here we are harvesting anti-human immunoglobulin from goat. This is the harvested anti-human immunoglobulin. The goat obtained anti-human immunoglobulin is tagged with fluorescein stain. The specimen is flushed with fluorescein stained anti-human immunoglobulins that have previously been obtained from goats. This slide is then viewed under ultraviolet light in the microscope. And specific patterns are viewed according to the immunological disease being tested. As you see, the anti-human immunoglobulins have arranged themselves according to the autoantibodies. It helps show off the fluorescent pattern and indicate the cellular attachments against which autoantibodies have been formed. It also helps locate their specific sites. Ending with the hope that it helped you in one way or another.